welcome back to Beauty by Violet and today I'm going to show you a first date look. Now the look was inspired by a new outfit that I got for my date. So here's a new outfit I got. I picked up a few different pieces to put together to make it and it's got some grays, some golds, navy blues and then the stitching has gold stitching in it and it's got a little bit of embellishment around the neckline and then I got this cardigan to wear over it and I think I'm going to wear this one on one day and then I'm going to take this off for the other one. So pretty much a couple different outfits in one. So I finally started dating again and the gym is a great place to meet guys and I like to go to the gym a lot. Uh, when I go to the gym I can kind of forget about my really hectic life and all the things I've got going on and just kind of burn off some steam. Then you also have the opportunity to meet new people there. Um, I've met a lot of friends there and uh, recently I met a couple guys there and they're two totally opposite guys. So the one guy is a principal of a high school. He has a master's degree and speaks like three different languages. So I'm going to wear the cardigan when I go out on the date with him. And the other guy, he's pretty, he's totally opposite. He, you know, has a Harley and lots of tattoos, which I love tattoos, I'm not going to lie. So, um, but I'm going to do this date night look because I'm going to go out on a date with both of them, see what I think. And the eye makeup is basically inspired by this outfit with the navy blues and the gold. Fun, I'm going to use the colors from the Studio Pop eye palette. And this is a really fun palette. It's got a lot of different colors in it. And it's also got some cream shadows or you could use them as liners uh, at the bottom. So I'll show you how to make a look with this. And it's also a date night look. So a couple fun things in one. So if you want to see how I did this fun date night look, just keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to do as always is just uh, apply an eyeshadow base. I'm going to use the Urban Decay uh, Primer Potion for this. And I'm going to apply it all over the lid from the lash line to the brow and then also underneath my eyes because we're going to do kind of a smoky eye. And the first one I'm going to start with is this one right here. And this is 24 karat and it's just a real gold color. So I'm going to start out with a 239 brush. I'm going to pick that up and just it on the inner corner and about halfway over the lid. Then I'm going to pick up a pencil brush. This is a 219 from MAC. And I'm going to apply some of that to the inner gear duct. And then just a little bit on the lower inner part of the lower lash line. So the next color I'm going to use in the palette is called Nocturnal. And it's a really deep blue right here. And I'm just going to use my 239 again. And I'm going to put some of that on the outer corner of the eye, brushing inward. Just meeting up with that gold. And then just pick up some of that gold again. And you're just going to blend between those two colors just so you get a nice even fade. Pick up your 219 brush again, or pencil brush, and some of that color in that tunnel. And we're going to put that on the lower lash line, really close to the lashes. So the one color that I'm going to use that's not in the palette is Soft Brown from MAC, and this is because I'm going to warm up this look. And before I apply anything in the crease, I'm just going to use a 217 brush, and I'm going to use this help with blending and it's also going to warm everything up and the next color from the palette we're going to use is called smoke um, this is just a gray color it's right there and we're just going to use a uh, 217 brush for this and pick that up and just apply it right in the crease, staying in the hollow of the crease. And then just wipe off your brush really good and start blending that. The next color 
I'm going to use in the palette is called Vanilla. And show you, it's this one right here. And it's just a, a really good um, highlight color. We're just going to use this to blend out above those darker colors. It's pretty much the same color as your skin tone. And then to highlight a little bit more, I'm going to use this color Lunar at the top of the palette. And I'm just going to use my 239. Just pick up a little bit of that and apply it just underneath your brow bone. So for a liner, I'm just going to use a fluid line from MAC. And this is in Black Track. And then I'm going to use a 208 brush for this so that I can get a nice thin line. And starting from the outer corner, I'm just going to make my way in. And staying pretty close to the lash line so that I can get a nice thin line. and run it underneath the lower lash line, starting from the outer corner so that it fades inward. Then just pick up any cool pencil and dip it in that blue line, and we're just going to use the pencil as a tool. Then I'm going to apply mascara and I'm just using the Aqua Smoky Lash from Make It Forever. So next I'm just going to apply some lashes. I'm just going to use a primer. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Oil Free Foundation Primer. And I'm just going to apply this all over my face. Now, for a foundation, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Naked Foundation. I really like this foundation because it's got a full coverage, but it feels like you're wearing nothing at all. And I'm just going to use my Urban Decay Optical Blurring Brush. And I'm going to start from the middle of my face and work outward. Waterproof, so. Okay, 
So I'm going to use a bronzing powder for my contour, and I'm going to use this one right here, and this is called Shade Stir. And I'm just going to use a Stila flat cheek brush for this, and just put it on the end of the brush, and put it right in the contour of your cheeks, right below the cheekbone. For a blush, I'm going to use Blush Baby from MAC. I'm just going to use my NARS Kabuki brush for this. And just pick some up and apply it just to the backs of the cheekbones. And then pull it down towards the apples of your cheeks and buff it out. For highlight, I'm going to use a skin finish from MAC, and this is Porcelain Pink. And I'm just going to pick up a dual fiber cheek brush for this. And then I'm just going to apply this just to the tops of the cheekbones towards the back of the cheeks. For the lips, I'm just going to use something real sheer and moisturizing. I'm just going to use a Clinique Chubby Stick. And let's see, this one is in Bountiful Blush. So that completes the look. I tried to keep it pretty simple. It's just using you know three different brushes and a few different colors from the Studio Pop eyeshadow palette. I really do like this palette, although Smashbox colors, they do fall out quite a bit, but you know a lot of the good ones do, the Urban Decay ones do also. And I will put a link to my blog below and all of the colors that I used will be on there and as well as all the other products that I use. Thanks so much for watching guys and I hope you subscribe.